Yo, what's up guys? It's over the Wolf 6 and welcome to a new Lego Room update. I honestly haven't been able to accomplish much, I'm sorry. That's because the family wants to start using this room for storage. If you guys see on the left, you can see some furniture, a bag full of Pokemon cards, and a box full of stuff. But yeah, because of that, I don't know when the next Lego Room update is going to be. I can't work on Legos, so we'll just have to wait and see. I'll at least show you what I've been able to accomplish. If you guys haven't seen my last few Lego Room updates, a card to the playlist will be up top. But yeah, enough said, let's just get started. So let's start off with these shelves. That's the same. That's the same. This is pretty much the same, only that Jay's Electromech now has those yellow studs in the stud shooters, so yes, it's complete. As for this shelf, um, I moved my Ninjago villain setup over here, so that it'll be next to the monastery for now. I started this Star Wars display here, that's why I moved them up, so... You can see my Anakin's Jedi Starfighters, that's from the last update. I finished the Sokka's Jedi Starfighter, yes! I finished my Republic gunship, yes! And Stacey Tins Jedi Starfighter, I finished that as well, so yes! And because of that, I migrated my uh, snow speeder. Ah, I couldn't speak it there. Snow speeder and my solo swoop bikes. If you guys didn't remember, they were right here next to the monastery before. So they will be there next to the modular building and the Venatar. As for this shelf over here, we have the Ultra Dragon, Destiny's Bounty, and that prison cell. They're unfinished, all three of them. There we have a uh, Chima Jet. I think it's Eris Seagull Interceptor, the Marvel Quinjet from the first Avengers film. I started to work on this police headquarters, correct me if I'm wrong, I think it's from 2009. The Endor Bunker, I want to work on that soon. Uh, this is the same. Uh, nothing there really, and that's the same. All right, one big thing I forgot to do, I'm doing this right before the video goes up. Woo! But anyways, here's the Lego I'm working on. Um, Half of the Great Devourer, I never noticed I'm missing some stickers here on those 1x4 plates, so I'm probably gonna buy those from Breaklink, the stickers, but we'll see. I'm almost done with my Tredis Holt, uh, you can just get a skim of some of the Legos I'm working on. Also with the Fire Dragon and the Ice Dragon, those are almost done. As for this bottom shelf over here, we have my Twilight, uh, an X-Wing I want to work on, a Freako Speeder, and the Ultrasonic Crater, but yeah. Quick little bonus segment, if you guys didn't remember, there's my Hulkbuster. I want to find a place for it. And here, I have some bricks that I'm using for builds. You guys will see it right there. And if you guys didn't know, most of the bricks I picked for my builds come from this box. All loose Lego. Pretty insane, right? Yeah, that's pretty much it. One last thing though, I picked most of my bricks for those Lego builds from that box. I have some organized, like for example, right here I have a ton of white pieces. And if we move over here, I have some like gray pieces, black pieces, red pieces, etc. But yeah, for real this time, that's pretty much all I have to say. So like I said earlier, I don't know when the next Lego room update is gonna be because of all the storage stuff that is happening right now, but once that is over, I'm thinking that maybe I can move all my Legos to a new place. So, new Lego room, maybe it'll be easier to build Legos, but that's pretty much all I have to say. Let's hope the next Lego room update video is soon. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace!